Tonight we start a new series called Working Past COVID. What's the new normal? We start with the head of tourism in our area asking, what do you do if no one can come to your area? Jason Valentine finds out. It was going to be a bigger, bolder, brighter 2020. I mean, it was really, we came off of 2019, it was our best year ever, and 2020 was primed to be even better. That CEO and president of Visit Tri-Cities, Michael Novakovich, early last year primed for 2020 until the pandemic hit. What does a tourism office do when no one can visit? Y'all ready for this? The Tri-Cities is a can't miss. You're going to want to pick up your order from a local brick and mortar, support local businesses and jobs, come on. And we recognized that real quickly that our restaurants were going to be suffering. Um, restaurants, we could get people, get out, preserve jobs. Uh, we can enjoy some bit of Tri-Cities culture at the same time. And we had good success with that. After creating that ad to help restaurants, they pivoted to promote healthy pandemic habits for a specific reason. Uh, but our attention really shifted to uh, uh, public health. And again, for us, if the community was healthy, what we could do is we could actually open back up our business. So the mission for us is it's a it's twofold win. Healthy community, we've got the tourism economy that comes back. And despite that success with, well, sporting venues being used for food drives more than events, some tough decisions had to be made. I'll tell you one of the, the toughest things I had to do in this environment is I laid off a third of my team. Uh, the writing was on the wall that we were going to be in this for a while, and we had to preserve our ability to market so we could drive economic impact and quality of life. But as of now, things are slowly starting to open up. Conventions will take some time, but sports should be the first events to come back. We have teams on the field right now. We were just waiting for state provisions. The tournament directors have been ready to get teams on the field, and the players have been ready to play. And in terms of hope for our young athletes, this is hope. And finally, I asked Michael what we could do now to help out the Tri-Cities. Invite your friends and family in. Not only will you have a great experience, all of that visitor economy helps to fund things like police and fire and those things that make our community not only safe, but educated well and enjoyable.